Welcome back to the ABCs of Real Estate. I'm Sarah Taylor, and today we're going to talk about purchase contracts. Purchase contracts are amazing. I know I'm a bit of a weirdo. I'm an artist, but I also love legal contracts. I used to work for a, a lawyer as his legal assistant, and I am a strong believer in clear communication. And the purchase contract can allow you not only to negotiate different uh, items with the other party in your transaction, but also to protect yourself legally and all the others included in the contract. So the purchase contract is a wonderful tool for buyers and sellers to state their needs and wants and to negotiate something that they can agree on together to move forward with the purchase or sale of a home. Uh, there's a lot of boilerplate language inside of contracts that's there to protect you. So often uh, the cleanest purchase contract doesn't have a lot of additional information written in. Although these days in uh, negotiations and bidding wars and a really hot seller's market, we have been writing in such things such as escalation clauses. So often the cleanest purchase contracts are the ones that don't have a lot of additional uh, information written in. That boilerplate language is really strong in there to protect you. Of course, there are uh, scenarios where you would want to write in something extra, such as the example of a, an escalation clause that can be a helpful tool to help your buyer negotiate purchase price. If you have questions about boilerplate language, purchase contracts, um, why I like legal documents, even though I'm an artist, or if you want to talk about anything at all, feel free to give me a call. I'm at 928-607-3015.